Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. For today's topic, we're going to learn to how to solve area and perimeter of a circle. We can find circles everywhere we go. Wheels, rings, hula hoops, pizza, plate are some examples of circle. But mathematically, what is circle? Well, circle is a set of all points that are equidistant or the same distance from a center point. Now, let's define first some parts of the circle. First, we have an original point that we started with it in drawing the circle, and it is called the center point. Next is the radius. Radius is the distance from center point to any other points of the circle. Another important part of the circle is the diameter. If you start to draw a line from one point of the circle to the center point and to another side, that distance is called diameter. In other words, diameter is just a two radius lines drawn in exactly opposite direction. So those are some important parts of a circle. Also remember that all the equidistant points we drew, if we combine it, it will form the perimeter of a circle. So what is perimeter? Perimeter is just a distance all the way around the circle. The perimeter of a circle has a special name. It is called the circumference. So basically, circumference of a circle is just the distance of all points all the way around the circle. You need to remember all of the parts of the circle because we need it in solving the circumference and the area of the circle. Yes, you've heard it right. Let me first introduce to you one of the most important mathematical number. And this is called the pi. Well, not this kind of pi. The pi that I mean is spelled as P and I, which refers to a special number. So if it is a special number, then what is the value of pi? The value of pi is 3.14, a round off of value of pi into two decimal places. Also, pi has a Greek symbol and it looks like this. Some people just use the symbol to represent pi to be infinitely accurate. So that's what pi is all about. Now you already know the parts of the circle and the pi. So you are now ready to solve the circumference and the area of the circle. The formula in finding the circumference of the circle is just a circumference equal to pi times diameter. Same with some formulas, we need to use abbreviation to easily memorize it. Let's use C for the circumference, and then the symbol of pi and letter D for the diameter. So the formula will look like this. So if we know the diameter of the circle, we just need to multiply it to pi, and then we get the circumference of the circle. To further understand it, let's have an example. Find the circumference of the circle if it has a diameter of 8 inches. In the problem, the diameter of the circle is given and we also know the formula in finding the, circum the circumference of the circle. So let's write down the formula. And then plug in the values. Also, let's just use 3.14 as the value of pi times the diameter which is 8 inches which is equal to 25.12. Therefore, the, the, the circumference of the circle is 25.12 inches. Now let's have another example. Regine is playing hula hoop. She suddenly wonders what the circumference of the hula hoop is. She measures the diameter of the hula hoop which is 44 inches. Now what is the circumference of the hula hoop? Now let's help Regine find the circumference of her hula hoop. Let's find first what are the given in the problem. It is stated in the problem that the diameter of hula hoop is 44 inches. Using that diameter, we can now find the circumference of the hula hoop. Therefore, the circumference of the hula hoop is 138.16 inches. Good job! You helped Regine in finding the circumference of her hula hoop. Now you already know how to compute the circumference of the circle. Let us now solve the area of the circle. Okay. Area of a circle is the number of square units inside a circle. Based on the definition, 
we can now conclude that the formula in finding the area of the circle is just pi times radius square. Again, let's use abbreviation in writing the formula. Let's use A for the area and R for the radius. So the equation will look like this. So, for example, if you have a circle with a radius of 3 meters, then the equation will become area equal to pi times 3 squared. Again, let's use 3.14 as the value of pi. Therefore, the area of the circle is 28.26 square meter. Now let's have another example. A while ago, we helped Regine find the circumference of her hula hoop. Now she wanted to find also the area of the hula hoop. Again, the diameter of her hula hoop is 44 inches. Let's help Regine find the area of her hula hoop. In the problem, a diameter of 44 inches is given but the area of the circle uses radius. So how can we solve it? Again, let's go back to the definition of the diameter. The diameter is just 2 times the radius. Therefore, to get the radius of the hula hoop, we need to divide the diameter into 2. Into two. So 44 divided by 2 is equal to, yes, 22. We now have a radius which is equal to 22 inches. Again, what is the formula of the area? That's right, area is equal to pi times radius squared, or to make it short, area is equal to pi times r squared, where pi is 3.14. Therefore, the area of the hula hoop is 1519.76 or 1519.76 inches squared. So that's the area of the whole of the hula hoop. Good job, you helped Regine in finding the area of her hula hoop. Congratulations, now you already know how to calculate the circumference and area of the circle. Fun fact also, to memorize the formula of the area, just remember the saying pi r squared even though pi's are usually round. Amazing, right? That's it guys, I hope you learned a lot about circles. You can also watch other video tutorials here in our channel. Once again, this is Easy Engineering. We make engineering topics easy and fun for you.